10 strange signs your kidneys may need help. Your kidneys are your body's natural filters, but if they become damaged, toxins can begin to build up in your blood. Your minerals may become out of balance and your blood pressure may rise. Kidney diseases have become one of the fastest growing causes of death in the world, but over 90% of people don't even know that they're suffering from them. In this video, we'll explore 12 signs something may be wrong with your kidneys and that they need help. We'll also look at the reasons why kidneys get damaged and some simple ways that you can start taking care of them. Symptom number one is foamy or bloody urine. One of the most reliable signs of kidney problems is changes in your urine. If your urine turns dark brown, red or purple, it could indicate that there's blood in the urine. This may happen because of a kidney stone, an infection, a cyst or a tumour. It can also happen if the kidney filters become damaged, where the holes in the filters widen, allowing blood to leak into the urine. Some women associate this with a late period, but it isn't. You might also get foamy or frothy urine when proteins like albumin leak through your damaged kidney filters. This foam looks like bubbles that you see when you're scrambling eggs, as it contains the same type of protein found in egg whites called albumin. Noticing these changes early may save your life. Symptom number two is swelling. If you notice swelling in your ankles or puffiness under your eyes every morning, don't ignore it. When your kidneys aren't filtering properly, Excess sodium builds up in your body, causing fluid retention and swelling in the tissues. This tends to be most noticeable in the feet, legs and hands due to gravity. The protein called albumin in your blood helps to keep water inside your blood vessels where it belongs, but when the kidneys are damaged, albumin can leak out, causing fluid to escape from your veins and arteries. This fluid then gets trapped in your tissues, leading to swelling where it doesn't belong. Edema can also be linked to liver, heart or vein diseases, as they similarly can cause fluid to leak from blood vessels. Symptom 3. Itching. When the kidneys are damaged and fail to filter out toxins from the blood, waste products like urea can build up under your skin, causing a very severe, persistent itching. For some people, the itch may start in one specific area, but for others, it can spread to multiple parts of the body. This deep itch doesn't tend to go away, no matter how much you scratch, and it's often worse at night. As your kidney function declines, you may also notice changes in your skin colour, such as a shift from a healthy skin tone to a pale yellow or brownish hue. Your kidneys play a key role in balancing minerals like calcium and phosphorus, but disruptions in this balance can lead to dry, itchy skin and mineral buildup in your tissues. However, if the itching is more concentrated on the soles of your feet or the palms of your hands, it may point to a liver issue instead. The kidneys and the liver work together to filter toxins and maintain mineral balance, so problems with either organ can trigger these uncomfortable symptoms. 4. Nail Changes Your kidneys produce a hormone which makes red blood cells. These are important because they carry oxygen and nutrients throughout your body, including to your nails. However, if your kidneys are damaged, you may have less red blood cells and become anemic, so your nails begin to starve of the oxygen and nutrients that they need to grow properly. This can cause your nails to change from a natural pink tone to a pale all-white colour. This is a condition we call Terry's nails. In some cases, you might notice a half and half appearance where the lower part of the nail is white and the upper part is darker. Nail changes can also be linked to liver or heart problems as all of these organs are interconnected. Symptom number five is fatigue, where you feel tired all the time even after a good night's sleep. This can be an early sign that toxins are building up in your blood because of kidney damage. 
As I said before, kidneys make red blood cells that carry oxygen to your organs and your muscles. But if you become anemic because of kidney damage, oxygen will not reach those tissues, so your energy levels will drop, leaving you feeling weak, tired and unable to concentrate. This type of fatigue makes even small tasks like climbing stairs or carrying your groceries feel absolutely exhausting. You can find out if you're anemic by asking your doctor for a complete blood count test and more specifically to test your kidneys with an EPO blood test. Symptom number six is a metallic taste or bad breath. When your kidneys aren't filtering waste properly, toxins like urea can build up in the blood. Urea breaks down into ammonia in your saliva, causing a persistent metallic taste in your mouth and sometimes you get a strong, unpleasant urine-like odour on your breath. This buildup of toxins can also make your food taste bad, reducing your appetite and making it difficult to eat. This is why so many patients with kidney disease lose weight unintentionally. Seven is trouble sleeping. If you wake up several times at night to urinate and you struggle to sleep deeply, this could also be a sign that your kidneys aren't filtering properly, leading to fluid buildup during the night. It can also happen to men who have prostate enlargement. When the kidneys are damaged, they can't balance important minerals like magnesium, which are essential for regulating sleep patterns and relaxing the body. This mineral imbalance makes it harder to get quality rest, leaving you feeling unrefreshed after a full night's sleep. Kidney damage also disrupts the distribution of key nutrients to your brain, like magnesium and vitamin B1, which further interrupts your sleeping patterns. Symptom number eight is back or flank pain. Persistent pain in your lower back or on one side of your body near your ribs can be a sign of kidney problems. This is called flank pain and often occurs due to an infection, kidney stones or fluid filled cysts inside the kidneys. Kidney pain is usually dull and throbbing, but with kidney stones it can become sharp and excruciating. If a stone gets trapped in the ureter, its sharp edges can cause intense pain, which is comparable to a bullet wound. Unlike muscular pain, kidney discomfort doesn't improve with rest or changes in your posture. Symptom number nine is shortness of breath. Feeling breathless, even when you aren't moving, can be linked to kidney problems as well. When the kidneys aren't functioning properly, fluid may build up in the lungs, making it harder to breathe. All the vitamin D that you get from sunlight or food must also be activated in your kidneys, but when they're damaged, you may become deficient in vitamin D, which affects your breathing muscles and makes it harder to breathe deeply. Kidney damage also disrupts your body's balance of electrolytes and vitamin B1, which also contributes to shortness of breath. Be sure to speak with your doctor if you're experiencing breathing difficulties. Symptom number 10, high blood pressure and diabetes. If you have diabetes or high blood pressure, know that you are at high risk of kidney disease. 40% of adults with diabetes will develop kidney problems, leading to a condition which we call diabetic nephropathy. As blood sugars rise, the blood thickens and can damage the tiny blood vessels in the kidneys. Likewise, high blood pressure damages those blood vessels as well. High blood pressure isn't just a symptom of kidney disease, but it can also be a cause. In fact, in 25-30% to 30 of kidney failure cases, high blood pressure is the main cause. So if you want to keep your kidneys healthy, it will benefit you greatly to keep your blood pressure and blood sugar in check. Some of these early symptoms like fatigue or mild swelling can easily be ignored as minor issues, but it's only after the kidneys are damaged by 70 to 80% that the more serious symptoms start to appear. The good news is that kidney damage can be reversed if you start to take actions early. The first is to drink enough water. A major cause of kidney stones, infections and high blood pressure is simply dehydration. So drink at least a half a gallon of water daily to help your kidneys function correctly. 
adding freshly squeezed lemon juice to water is more beneficial as citrates from these fruits helps the kidney filters remove oxalates and excess uric acid in the blood which could have caused joint pain or gout in some people. Studies show that drinking hot water can lower creatinine levels by up to 20% and reduce urea levels by 40% within just 30 minutes of consumption. Adding microgreens into your diet can also help to take care of your kidneys. Broccoli sprouts, radish or arugula sprouts can very easily be grown from seeds using a sprouting kit at home and you can sprinkle them over cooked vegetables or salads. Microgreens are high in sulforaphane which is a powerful cleaning agent that helps repair kidney damage by reducing inflammation. These microgreens also support the filters in your kidney in removing harmful toxins from the body. NSAIDs and anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or naproxen can also damage kidneys and raise blood pressure if you're overdoing them. So if you are relying on these every day to relieve pain, you may want to look for safer alternatives like turmeric supplements. Turmeric is very protective for your kidneys but works naturally to reduce pain and inflammation. To maintain healthy kidneys long term, you should also focus on reducing refined foods that raise blood sugars too high like flour, refined grains, corn, maize, sweets, sugary foods and soda drinks. Exercising frequently benefits not only your kidneys but your entire body. So run, swim, cycle or walk every day to support your kidneys by keeping blood pressure and blood sugars under control. Certain other foods also have kidney protective and healing properties. Asparagus, celery and cabbage all help your kidney filters to clean your blood. Blackberries, strawberries, blueberries and other berries are loaded with antioxidants that help to reverse kidney damage. All types of onions, especially red onions, are high in quercetin which can help to prevent scarring in the kidneys. Extra virgin olive oil is loaded with antioxidant compounds that support the kidneys. Kefir is a fermented milk drink rich in specific microbes that help your kidneys filter out urea. And you can also drink dandelion root stinging nettle or ginger tea every day which will greatly help your kidneys function as well. If you have a family history of kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, gout or you've had kidney stones in the past, you should test your kidney function regularly using blood tests and avoid drinking excessive amounts of alcohol. The kidneys are vital organs which detox our bodies every day and we often take them for granted but once the kidneys get damaged, it is difficult to recover. For a very natural homemade kidney cleansing drink recipe, watch the video on screen now and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.